I am in Lordsburg, New Mexico, and it's November 21st, I believe, 2020. A couple days from my birthday. My birthday's on Monday. I'm sitting here considering going to Wilcox, Arizona, which is 75 miles away. It's the next biggest town that has a <clears throat> TA travel stop and a Safeway in it. To maybe spend my birthday there in the middle of the desert in Wilcox, Arizona, possibly. But, and I'm trying to decide, because it's, I would be driving right now if it was 75 or 80 degrees, because if it's 75 degrees outside, if I had the doors closed, my van, it would be like 85 degrees inside, at least as the van cooks if there's no shade, and I'm not parked in the shade, as you can see. So, but today, it's only like 70, 75 in here with the door open. So... I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to go today or tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. If it doesn't get much hotter today, I might just stay here. Save my running the van for when it's hot out. I was able to temporarily fix the water pump seal in front. On my own, that was a fun job. Uh, it's only temporary though, I'm pretty sure. But as long as I'm able, as long as I keep it down to about 50 or 60 miles, maybe 75 miles at the most. In one shot, you know, an hour, an hour and a half max of driving. Wherever I need to drive, then it's good enough for now. You know, and then... Basically, it's 1500 bucks to fix the head gaskets. 700 bucks or something, to, roughly, to do a tune-up. Way less if you did it yourself, obviously, but... I don't make for the greatest mechanic. And then if I did all that, it would fix the timing, and the timing would quit burning the, fuel, the water pump out. But as is, it's just going to keep burning water pumps up. So, something wrong with the manufacturer of this model. Of Grand Voyager, or Grand Caravan, I mean. Had I known that, I probably wouldn't have bought it. But, you don't know things until you discover it, you know. At least it's working. My last Ford van didn't even want to work. On its own, you know. And I get tired of throwing money into it every single month. But it's either that or make car payments, and I don't want to be in debt on my car payments. So anyway, I'm just sitting here on a Saturday in Lordsburg, New Mexico with the Fly J. There's a Flying J that I'm in now, and then there's a pilot across the street. And then there's, of course, the small town of Lordsburg. I think it has, like, its own special local chain grocery market in it, and McDonald's and a couple other places, but it's a pretty small place. So far... The, for a truck stop it wasn't all that loud last night so I might stay another night and hit out on the road tomorrow if it ends up being 80 or 90 degrees out during the day that way I'll spend the hottest part of the day in my air conditioning as I'm driving but I'm trying to get 75 miles closer to Wilcox Arizona slowly working my way possibly to the Grand Canyon for the Grand Canyon National Park there's a door greeter job up there that they do have available three positions for it which is basically carrying people's luggage in and telling them all about the park and stuff like that. And I don't know if I really want to be a door greeter or not. But that's about the only position they got left besides like a head cook and like a manager spot, which I don't want. So I'm patiently waiting for like the lodge front desk position to open up or something. But other than that, I have unemployment at, at between 100 and 160 a week, depending on how it I certify and then it comes back to me at or not four or five more paychecks total of like 800 bucks worth maybe over the next month and a half and then at the end of December it's this claim is over unless they extend it or I'm able to file a different claim or something on that end of it my other options coming in January I might make a return to expediting but so far it's kind of iffy on whether that's worth it or not or I may continue on the route that I'm going and just go up to Grand Canyon and then eventually up the west coast when the weather gets, you know, summertime up on up north in like Oregon and Washington and etc. Work on the 175 bucks for the passport and passport book and possibly go up to Alaska. So I've been watching a lot of videos on Alaska and so far food prices are through the roof expensive which gets me a little bit worried. I may have to buy a cooler or a fridge or something to stockpile food or eat canned food and stuff. 
to be able to make the trip, but I wouldn't mind spending, you know, at least a couple weeks up at, like, Seward or Anchorage or somewhere in that area of Alaska and actually be able to say that I've been there and done that. Half considering flying there. Because flying there would be just as much as applying for the passport and driving up there and back in terms of the gas and the passport price would be just as much as the re return flight to fly up there and back and just have to store my van somewhere. So I'm looking into the options but that's basically what I'm looking at so far. If we all get another stimulus by at least the end of January I might go to Hawaii instead or I might take the stimulus and go up to Alaska with the winter coat and try to get away with camping up there in the winter time which would be nuts I think in terms of how cold it is but or maybe pay for a week worth of hotel off of it or something and come back I'm not sure yet on what to do with that whole deal I don't want to completely waste the money but at the same time I want to live my life and experience the adventure of going to Alaska once in my life and I'm thinking if I got all of these things that are in the back of my mind out and done already like going to Alaska maybe then after that I could settle down after I've been there and done everything I wanted to do you know that's my thought anyway that's my latest video just sitting here thinking in my van what to to do uh, the coronavirus as it has affected everybody it's kind of affected my travels it affects van lifers these days because I used to the way I used to live my life is I'd go to a shopping center during the day or a library or something and you just sit there all day in their nice air conditioning you have your restrooms right there available sometimes they've got libraries close to food and everything you need on one shot all provided pretty basically free but now it comes to COVID you're pretty much stuck hanging out in your van because everywhere you go you have to wear an annoying mask and I don't think the masks work quite frankly but there are some places like New Mexico where potentially you could get a fine if they actually ever enforced it for not wearing a mask even outdoor just sitting here like this with the door open supposedly but I'm sorry but I'm not gonna live my life in my van with my door open like this with you know that far away from the next person and have to have a mask on the whole entire time I have the door open I don't think it makes any kind of difference but I've been lately I've been having a couple concerned Karens coming around asking me I had one drive up to Walmart the other day not five minutes worth of parking there with the door open she said you can't be doing that with the door open you should wear your mask whole time I'm thinking this old lady 60s or 70s years old is risking her own health to drive up there and tell me what to do that doesn't make any sense at all you know the more healthy thing to do would be to leave me the fuck alone and I leave you the fuck alone you know what I'm excuse my French but it's just so annoying how other people try to push them their own feelings off on you how somehow this is still the land of the free it's just people don't act like it on that note like and subscribe leave comments for catch your own to flip peace peace